Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the 2017 Mars and Virgo transit part two. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Mars and Virgo uh, transits, a possible effect on the zodiac signs. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo, and yes, it does apply and pertain to the Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Well, anyway, people, first thing is, uh, as far as Aries goes, well, the sixth house is what's going to be emphasized and highlighted during uh, this transit. So, uh, Aries may become more angry and acrimonious and, and, and very critical of their uh, workers and um, if Aries is a supervisor, it would be their workers, subordinate workers that are below them, or it could just be fellow employees. Now, uh, also, uh, I could see Aries being uh, impatient, as they often are. In this case, perhaps for lack of organization uh, by people they work with, perhaps. Uh, also, there could be a lot of energy going into being uh, meticulous in work and health uh, related matters and being uh, that we're talking about the sixth house uh, Aries uh, should be careful of, of overexertion because Aries can overdo it and you have Mars uh, being in Virgo and highlighting and emphasizing uh, the sixth house of health so you you understand what I'm saying now also there's a little greater propensity for work related accidents uh, and it could be attributed to that Mars and Virgo uh, nervous energy. So anyway, well, now as far as Taurus goes, well, the fifth house is what's going to be highlighted and emphasized during this transit for Taurus. Now, there might be a lot of energy and vitality going into intellectual analytical uh, enjoyment uh, for Taurus during uh, this time. It could be um, extrapolation of data, perhaps connected uh, with sports such as like fantasy football. Um, there might be a little greater chance of arguments uh, with children and or a romantic uh, partner if applicable uh, during this time. Now, also a stubborn Taurus uh, likely won't give in as far as the, any of uh, these potential arguments may go. Now, and also Taurus may uh, pursue uh, hobbies with a uh, very strong acute uh, Virgo uh, attention uh, to detail but also being given that we're talking about the zodiac sign Taurus uh, also with a lot of persistence as well of course now as far as Gemini goes well the fourth house is what's going to be emphasized and highlighted during this transit now uh, for Gemini perhaps perhaps some uh, organizing, uh, cleaning the home in, in Virgo systematic and methodical uh, fashion. There may be a little greater potential for arguments uh, in contentious situations, perhaps with family members, uh, people that are they feel close to home with. And also, uh, Gemini might be a little bit more angry and, and critical uh, regarding who they are at the core so anyway well now as far as the zodiac sign cancer goes well the third house is what's going to be emphasized and highlighted for cancer now there may be uh being that the third house is what's highlighted and emphasized for cancer well there may be some contentious situations perhaps with critical uh, neighbors and uh, siblings uh, there during this time Cancer might be a little bit more angry and critical over things connected with transportation. It could even be something which might be something insignificant, like say you're talking about the uh, uh, some kind of a compression ratio of a vehicle just being a tiny bit different than it was the day before. Just really, you know, it could be some of this Virgo uh, nitpicking uh, going on with things connected with transportation. Now also, Cancer might be surprisingly be more outspoken in their communications and let's say if bad hygiene is in the air uh, the zodiac sign cancer may be well at uh, to say uh, something about it so anyway 
as far as Leo goes, well, for Leo, well, the second house is what's going to be emphasized and highlighted with this transit. So you may see Leo putting uh, more energy and vitality uh, into making money with that Virgo acute attention to detail. Leo's energy is often nearly uh, indefatigable and inexorable. So it really could be a lot of, of energy and plus having the Mars uh, being uh, emphasizing accentuating that that second house uh, a lot of this going into uh, making money now Leo also during this transit might become well uh, maybe angry and judgmental uh, in matters pertaining to resources and possessions if somebody is doing something with their possessions that they don't like well Leo might be a little become a little bit more uh, exasperated during this time than usual now also, there might be some of this worrying energy over finances as well during this time. And Leo might be a little bit more volatile if someone messes uh, with their belongings during this time uh, than usual. Now, uh, as far as Virgo goes, well, the first house is what's uh, emphasized and accentuated and highlighted during this transit. And Virgo might be surprisingly a little bit more aggressive, combative, and more energetic uh, than usual. And given that the new moon in Virgo is going to take place on September 20th, uh, going along with, with this uh, Mars and Virgo transit, well, this could be a very good period for uh, Virgo beginning, perhaps uh, an exercise uh, workout uh, program during this time. And with Mars and Virgo doing it with a lot of that, uh, Mar that Virgo uh, industry and, and really that, that hard working energy. And also keep in mind that surgery i mean mars governs surgery and given that the first house is what is uh emphasized and highlighted for virgo during this transit surgery uh may uh be a little bit more likely during this uh time for virgo than usual and if so it, it could likely be on a, a virgo related uh, part of the body such as the spleen or one of the intestines so Anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the Mars in Virgo 2017 transit part two. Stay tuned next time where I'll be talking about the Mars in Virgo 2017 transit part three. Two things I want to get with you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one until next time people stay well